ഇപ്പോഴ് തിരുവനന്തപുരം സെൻട്രൽ സ്റ്റേഡിയത്തിൽ കേരളീയത്തിന്റെ ഉദ്ഘാടന വേദിയിൽ കമലഹാസൻ സംസാരിക്കുകയാണ് At the outset of my journey in both these careers, I always came to Kerala to learn and take inspiration. I was a kid of seven or eight years old when I did my first Malayalam film, Kannungaralam, which was the first directorial venture of my favorite director, Mr. Seyed Madhavan, sir. The film industry in Kerala has played a critical role in shaping the cultural landscape of this state as well as my own outlook towards cinema. The movies you make, we make, not only captivate audience worldwide, but also play a critical role in addressing pertinent social issues. This commitment to social narratives reflects the state's progressive and socially conscious ethos. I have tried to emulate the same in my artistic career. I was informed that one of my movies, Madhanotsavam, is being showcased during this event. I would like to thank you, sir, for this honor. I was 21 when I did that film. Now I fondly remember Director Shankar Nair, Salil Chaudhary Saab and all the technicians of the film who gave me so much independence and freedom to be part of the filmmaking process and allowed me to improvise and in the process learn. In 2017, when I decided to take the plunge into active politics, once again, I turned to Kerala and took advice from our, your dear Chief Minister, Mr. Pranarai Vijayan. My people-centric politics draws inspiration from the famed Kerala model of development. When I called for strengthening of local bodies in Tamil Nadu, I was hoping to emulate the miracles of Kerala's decentralized governance, championed by People Planning Campaign of 1996. Most states have struggled to achieve real democratic governance, decentralization to local bodies, and Kerala stands as a beacon of inspiration, one I hope the rest of India will emulate. That's the reason why I'm making this speech in English. I want the rest of India to know, emulate, and understand what we are celebrating. Our two states, Tamil Nadu and Kerala, share not only geographical border, but also a bond of culture. Both states share a commitment to knowledge and individual development with governance focused on improving health and education systems. Our people share a deep love for classical arts, music, and dance. Our linguistic and culinary similarities especially helped me as a young child when I came to work in Kerala. It was right here in Wycombe in 1924, a common man called E. V. Ramaswamy transformed into the legendary Dravidian icon Periyar. During the Satyagraha movement against the caste oppression, he earned the moniker Vaikam Viram, the warrior of Vaikam. Most people have forgotten, but the world's first elected communist government was the 1957 Kerala government of the iconic leader EMS Nambudri Pad, much to the chagrin of CIA and other people. Kerala has successfully implemented the most extensive land reforms, universal health care education system in India. But through collective action also successfully created a rights-based political culture where the common man does not merely hope but demands for the government to enhance all spheres of their daily life. 
What is unique about the Kerala development model is that Kerala has achieved the distribution of land of health and education services, distribution of governance powers to local bodies than most. Today, when governments focus on growth-based development model, Kerala has charted its own path by showing the world that economics is not just about growth, but also distribution. What is the point of double-digit double growth if it only benefits a select few? It was the legendary Namudri Padu who saw the democratic governance and power reaching the local institution as the critical function of governance. Till date, the 1996 People's Land Campaign remains the most sustained and effective devolution of resources and decision-making power to local governments in all of India. The benefits of this decentralization were seen during the recent COVID lockdown, where local self-governance in over 1,000 panchayats along with your government healthcare institution resulted in a response to the crisis that became the yardstick of COVID crisis management across the world. The COVID-19 crisis demonstrated governments with robust and flexible welfare system are far better at reducing the social cost of economic contractions and accelerating recoveries. <coughs> By engaging civil society and self-help groups, you have mitigated local elite capture of institutions that plagues local governments all over India. Decentralized local government leads to democratic local development. In this manner, you have demonstrated that Gandhi economics with focus on decentralized self-sufficiency work into the 21st century. In my humble opinion, Kerala is the first state in India to successfully create a robust safety net through its universal education and health models. Your state's ability to harness its diaspora through cultural soft power and will has hard dollars through foreign remittance is a lesson to other states to similarly focus on, focus on universal health care and education. In this day and age of neoliberalism, when the role of a state is constantly diminishing, Kerala has demonstrated to the world that its state institutions have been more effective in dealing with daily issues and major crises owing to both its political culture its politicians, its ability to develop power and capacity to involve civil society in governance. But as all capable leaders, Honorable CM Pinarayi Vijayan has shown that he is not just satisfied to sit on the laurels, but to ambitiously strive for excellence. I'm impressed by your efforts to leverage Kerala's excellent social demographics to transform your state into a knowledge economy in a socially inclusive and environmentally conscious manner. You have laid the blueprint for a new role for the state in promoting economic transformation to move beyond industrialization-centric development. By harnessing the comparative advantage of your human capital and accumulated capacity for public action, I'm delighted to participate in this event that showcases all that Kerala has achieved in culture, politics, economics, and trailblazing path it will chart forward in the 21st century. I am excited to hear from other eminent dignitaries and hope to learn again from Kerala, as I have done so many times in the past. Thank you. Namaskar. Thank you so much, Sri Kamal Hassan.